The Fawn and His Mother by Aesop for ESL Students Last updated on August 26, 2024 by Dr. Muhammad Hossein Hariri ASL The Fawn and His Mother by Aesop for ESL Students with a video, vocabulary in real context, questions for discussion and the moral of the story. The Fawn and His Mother is now in the public domain available on Gutenberg Project. Video of the Fawn and His Mother The Fawn and His Mother A hind said to her fawn, who was now well grown and strong, My son, nature has given you a powerful body and a stout pair of horns, and I can't think why you are such a coward as to run away from the hounds. Just then they both heard the sound of a pack in full cry, but at a considerable distance. You stay where you are, said the hind, never mind me, and with that she ran off as fast as her legs could carry her. English Proverbs from the Short Story Do as I say, not as I do. This proverb directly mirrors the hind's hypocritical behavior, advising bravery while acting cowardly. Fear is the mind's tyrant. This proverb relates to the fawn's fear overcoming his strength, highlighting the power of fear in influencing behavior. Vocabulary in Real Context Hind, noun female deer Fawn, young deer Stout, strong, sturdy, substantial Coward, someone who lacks courage Hound, dog bred for hunting Pack, hoard, crowd, flock, group Distance, length between two things Moral of the short story Actions speak louder than words. The hind's advice to her fawn is undermined by her own cowardly behavior. Hypocrisy is a dangerous trait. The hind's hypocrisy in preaching bravery while acting cowardly is a negative example. Fear can overcome even the strongest. Despite the fawn's physical strength, fear prevents him from confronting the hounds. Questions for discussion What is the main theme or moral of the fable? How does the hind's behavior contradict her advice to her fawn? What might be the significance of the fawn's age and strength being mentioned in the fable?